Well, hi de ho good neighbors, John Sanders. Today we're going to be talking about a really exciting topic, although I got to tell you, it's a little bit different, um, but it's reminiscent of the times uh, that we're in. So the times we are in are a little bit different. But let me jump right in here. Today's Wednesday's webcast, we're already into the month of March. Springtime's right around the corner. And if you have not sprung into business in 2024, what you waiting for there? Hmm? Got to ask that question. Hey, getting here early, fun stuff. 15 minutes to kind of warm you up for our webcast. But we're looking at our edge towards success. And today, every day is a new day. You can always start the next day. You can always start today to start over if something did not go well from the day before. Nobody's taking any kind of record of your good days and your bad days. Trust me, I've had a number of bad days and I've had some great good days. Today has been a marvelous day. All you have to do is put in some effort. You got it? Put in some effort. This is not a business where you can just sit there and let somebody else do the work, and you've got to be willing to chase the prize. If you're not chasing the prize, trust me, um, no one else is going to give you the prize. There, uh, there is no woke participation trophies here in the world of being an independent insurance business. This is not one of those kind of businesses where you just show up and get rich. Not at all. And there are struggles. Don't get me wrong here, folks, that there are struggles in this business. We'll have to learn how to negotiate the business. And once you do, you just remember what you did yesterday that was so successful. Do it again today and do it again tomorrow because there will be struggles. And as long as you don't come off of the path of success, then you know what? The overall goal is just continue to drive on, and you've got to live your passion. If you're not living your passion, and if you're living somebody else's passion, if you're living somebody else's drive, if you're living and working towards somebody else's uh, goals, it isn't going to work for you. This is a business where you have to drive your own train forward. There's a lot of flagmen along the way. There's a lot of brakemen. There's a lot of other people willing to help you grow but you've got to be willing to pilot or drive or engineer the train, whatever you want to call it. We'll tra it will stay with the train um, parallels here. But you are the engineer, and uh, you do have to live what you're talk. You know what you're doing. Hey, we're going to be talking about some of the right stuff. And no, it's not that a movie with the four minimum uh, Academy Awards. And definitely, definitely not at all. Although, if you watched that movie, it was actually pretty good. And we're not talking about our document that Apex Insurance Group uh, has called The Right Track. Mm -mm, not at all. We're not going to be talking about that. Although, you will find this on the Apex Insurance Group website. And I will tell you, if you come across a client that does not have the uh, proper finances in order to make way to have, uh, whether it be an IUL or to be able to buy life insurance, you know, there's nothing sadder than to sit there and uh, watch a, a teenager or watch a young child that has passed away for some unbeknown reasons, and then have the embarrassment of having to have the parents beg for money uh, when all they had to do was do a little proper financial uh, self-responsibility. You know, the choice between a nice bass boat or a brand new television set from Best Buy or protect your family, I mean, I don't know. But you know what? Someone's got to be able to uh, Tell folks they've got to do the right thing. And if you don't want to do that, you can let the Apex Insurance Group right track budget management document try to tell them to be responsible on their own. You know, you can't fix stupid, as the uh, guys have said in the past, but what we can try to do is help you as agents find the right job. I'm constantly, I am constantly laughing at the agents that want the perfect insurance job. And if you take a moment here and just read this thing, I'll tell you what, I'll put it up on the screen so you can read it because it is, you know, I like to think 
that it's really kind of funny because this is kind of what I think some insurance producers are desirous of. Yesterday, I got uh, an email that uh, an individual had completed one of our online forms, and they're looking for um, they're looking for training. They are looking for leads. They're looking for back office support, top agency contracts. Oh, and by the way, free leads. Okay, they want it all. And when called and asked to talk to uh, about what they're doing in their life, they were just recently licensed. And uh, this is their first step into the real world. Well, you know what? Bottom line, I can promise you one thing. They sure set it up wrong, wrong, wrong. Well, there is no perfect job out there. And uh, there is no such thing as offering a whopping quarter of a million dollars a year just for stepping on to the playing field of life insurance. You know what? It's not going to happen. If you're going to make something happen, you're going to have to make it happen yourself. Now, we can help you at Apex Insurance Group. We can be a flag waiver for you. We can actually sit there and help you chart your pathway. We can help you chart a course. We can also give you the... uh, We can also provide you the tools. We can also provide you some of the things to look out for. But you know what? This journey on your success is your own. Because when you claim and plant the flag at the top of the pinnacle, the the top of your financial pyramid, it is you planting your flag. You're not going to sit there and look at everybody else saying, hey, come plant my uh, flag for me. Mm Mm-mm. That ain't going to happen. See, the right job, I can promise you one thing, the right job, you you don't have to be perfect for it. What you do have to do is be willing to work at the right job. You do have to be willing to sit there and put forth some effort. You must be true to yourself. If you're not true to yourself, if you're lying to yourself, you're going to be walking in somebody else's dream, somebody else's vision, somebody else's shoes, and it will never, uh, pardon me, it will never make you happy. You have to identify who you are, and it's okay. You know, if you don't want to sell term life insurance, if you don't want to sell um, a particular type of product, but you do want to sell this product over here, That's what it's all about. It's being true to what makes you happy and what you want to do to make yourself 100%. See right here, pleasure in the job puts perfection in the work. Now, this is Aristotle. You know, I think he was a stoner. No, you get it. That's a joke. It was a carving. But anyway, also it was Confucius that says, If you do what you enjoy, you'll never have to work a day in your life. And I'll tell you what, for 30 years I think I've been doing this I've never really ever had to work a day in my life because I absolutely enjoy what I do week in and week out now trust me you notice I said week in and week out because actually some days yeah I've had problems but you know what kind of like marriage kind of like driving your car like owning your home like mowing the yard Not every day is going to be a pleasant day. There's some days that are pretty bad days, but, you know, overall on life scale, if we put it all in here, man, it's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. I love what I'm doing, and I can't imagine ever doing anything else. Hey, let's take a look at this. One of the things that the insurance industry does, and this is your perfect job when you find it, it develops a broad skill set. That's what it does. It will help you out in communication, technology, problem-solving, research, analytics. I'll tell you what. Also, it will help you in your organization skills. So if you are an agent and you're looking to better yourself, if you're looking for that uh, perfect job, well, this is it because it does help you develop professional skills in the area. If you find your perfect deal, Look at that communication. We can all better in communication. And it helps you with a set of problem solving and research. You know, the biggest thing that's affecting young kids today is their ability to do critical thinking. That's right. We see it again and again. You know, it's kind of like you take some kid from down south and he sticks his head in an alligator's mouth just to see what would happen. 
Well, you know, critical thinking says I don't have to sit there and get hit by a truck to understand that it hurts. I can send my brother. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Hmm? Hey, what about job security? There is a tremendous amount of job security in the insurance industry. There's a wide variety of different jobs available in the insurance industry to include insurance sales agents, but there's also also internal company level positions and also uh, agency level things. So check this out. You know, insurance has been around for a good, good long time. And there's a variety of different areas, whether it be medical or vehicle, home ownership, PNC licenses, um, you know, life, health, and annuity. And there's also a whole lot of other areas, whether it's long-term care. You can find what it is that makes you get all hot and excited. And if that be the case, chase that dream. No one's going to sit there and be angry with you. You know, find your passion and run with it. Also, people die in good times and bad times. As a matter of fact, in bad times, they're, uh, you know, I hate to um, hate to kind of make light of it, but more people die during bad times, you know. And in as much in economic downturns, people are dying, okay, and people die in good times. So the world of insurance is a needful part of life. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, and, and it's not necessarily even a replaceable position. There, That means there is a whole lot of job security. You know, it's also ease of entry. I'll tell you what, these last three pictures, if you've looked at them, they are AI generated. I mean, I don't know. You know, they're much too uh, perfect to be real people, but... Uh, I tell you what, you know, ease of entry in the insurance in- industry, that's the perfect job. There's a lot of different diverse roles that are available. Like I mentioned earlier, you can actually have, uh, you can work life insurance, you can work in the PNC arena, you can work in health insurance, you can do retirement planning, a wide variety. The door to entry is just marked by simply a high school diploma. That's it, ladies and gentlemen, high school diploma. Where else can you make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year and only have a high school degree and have it be legal? A Jazzy Ray, yeah, he's made three quarters of a million bucks, but he was dealing drugs, and that's illegal. But I'm talking about legal jobs, you know, with only a high school diploma. And no prior work experience is necessary. I have met some individuals that have been absolutely marvelous. They are like naturals for the insurance uh, industry with no previous work. They got, they got captured right out of high school, and they've been doing this. And at 24 years old, they're well on their way to making their first million dollars. I'm telling you, you can't, you know, I don't know too many other places that you can do that. Mm-hmm. Also, there's quick start programs available, and sometimes a quick start program, an agent can just get going and flying in just a few short weeks, and you can't get a better deal than that. I promise you that. Ease of entry. Now, every agent that I'm talking to in this presentation already is in the door, okay? But this is, a, uh, this is going to be recorded, and it's going to be put on the Internet, and I'll tell you what. Sometimes we get people who are just considering the industry, and you can do it, okay? Now, I tell you what, if you take a look at this, I don't want to sit there and do this anymore, blah, 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 because that's about what we can do. You're already in the industry, but I want to tell you, if you take a look at this graph right here or this image, you know, there's a lot of times where we're considering three things, and typically, um, I, I remember in the world of programming, there's the rule of threes. You can only get two of them, and you can have it fast. You can have your computer program running fast. You can have it running error-free, or and you can have it brought to market inexpensively, but you can only have two, okay? Here, you can find your sweet spot, and you can have it all. You can do what you love, and you can also do what you're good at. You know, and I do ask people... Would you rather be wealthy and dislike your job, or would you rather be broke and love your job? You know, 
there's people out there that have liberal liberal arts degree degrees no way gender studies how how about that one but we can't make fun of them too much but you know i tell you what they think that they want to have fun doing that but who's going to hire them you know who's going to hire the person that's a sculptor they got to do what they love but they're not making a lot of money at it right so here's what ends up happening if you if you do what you love and if you do what you're good at then you'll probably be happy but poor if if it pays well and you do what you love it's just a dream but if you're uh, what you're good at and if it pays well you'll be rich and bored okay let's explore that a little bit more first off let's blow it up a little bit you know it's, think of uh, think of doing what you're good at start off your day by thinking about what you love to do and think about what's fascinating for you you know when you when you have free time what is it that you like to spend your time doing? What, are the, what about researching and, and reading? You know, you can't think about the kind of job it is, but uh, what kind of salary would you like to make? And what are the skill sets? I tell you, you know, instead you need to focus purely on what you love to do as a starting point. And it is just one of the elements in finding what this total dream job is. Now, let's take a look over here and take a look at this, you know, your talents and gifts. You know, what are the unique gifts? You know, they, uh, clients need to answer, you guys need to answer two simple questions in order to hone in on what your innate skills are. What do people thank you for? Throughout the day, what do they thank you for? Hey, thank you for stopping by, Bob. You're so pleasant to talk to. Well, that's a pretty good talent right there that you're good to talk to. And, you know, what about your organization skills? You know, what are the gifts that you have? Take a look over here, too, next. What about when it pays well? Well, when we look at these things, if you have a job that pays well, what's the income? That number would make you feel valued and appreciated and if you achieved your worth, would that make you happy? That's your ideal salary, right? The client's focus, and when you focus on what the transitional salary is, you would need to. You need to map out your core expenses and what you need to do to make, um, make that perfect income. And one thing I do want to share with agents is, in the beginning, the very first year that I started selling insurance, I made about as much money as I did in, as a United States Army captain. And this was back around 1996, okay? But then by the third year, I was making three times more what I was making as an Army officer. Now, admittedly, I had expenses. I had to pay for my own health care. There were a lot of different things. But the fact of the matter is, it paid very, very well. I didn't necessarily have the skill set to sit there and do these things, but when you figure out what your dream job is, if, it, if it's something that you want it to pay very well, then I'm sure that you can find that. Now, if you do what you love, what values are there that you like to express through your work? If you like to be creative and find solutions to challenges, well, then very well. That could very well be the litmus test that you're looking for. What types of working environments are you looking for? Uh, I, you know, if you want to sit not in a job, I mean, one of the things I can probably tell you right off the bat is the fact that, well, dang, that didn't work out now, did it? There we go. One of the things is, is I don't like being stuck in the office. And unfortunately, today as an administrator, I'm often stuck in the office. But I do have the luxury to get out of the office. I do have the luxury to talk to people. And that's okay because I tell you what, the work environment in this, I have the flexibility to do my job at any location around the world 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And I have done this on multiple, I've done this job as agency director on multiple continents around the world because I've been able to travel and do this job. It's just what I'm looking for. But also, if you could find out what your life mission is and be able to pursue that passion in the field of insurance sales, well, then that would be a beautiful thing. I mean, a lot of people 
have never really found out what their true life mission is in order to be successful in doing that. So you need to think about thinking about what your overall purpose is, and it can be a very motivating and powerful way to think about your work. And it's your higher-minded soul is what's searching, you know, what you're searching for. It's like what you have to tell your clients to do, you know. It, it's like, hey, if you really love helping people, this is a great way to take care of their finances, to take care of their life planning, to take care of their future. I tell you what, folks, it doesn't get much better than this. That is a win. That is a win. So imagine yourself in the world's greatest job it can actually be. And again, here is another chat GPT picture that we've set up that your perfect job, your perfect position can be in insurance. It may not be in the traditional role of just moving final expense product. It might not be, you know, specifically in the world of uh, dealing with high net worth clients and the stress involved in working out financial statements or even buy-sell agreements with customer business people. It might not necessarily be even with the in the world of impaired risk personnel or foreign nationals. It might not, you know, it might be something really special in, in a in a niche market in something that no one else has ever thought of. It can be developed by you for your own benefit. And that in and of itself is what makes the insurance field so marvelous. Hey, folks, I tell you what, this was a quick webcast today, and, uh, and, and I'm, I'm thankful for your watching this. We've developed some YouTube channels helping agents to play catch-up and to help them grow their personal insurance business into the fortune that they desire it with their skill set that they can have. And these videos, they're basically called the basic agent. Not too creative there, but that's exactly what it is, the basic agent. You can watch all of the items, the ideas that you may have used in your past and maybe forgot about, but you can try and bring those back to the forefront so that you can be productive. You can jump on our, our YouTube channel. We would appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button and click the chime, which will notify you when we release our new uh, videos. If you would like to contact us here at Apex Insurance Group, well, then certainly reach out to us and uh, call the phone number, or you can email us at recruiting at apex-ig.com, which would be a marvelous thing. We also have a web page for you. You can register. I tell you what. <laughs> and here's something that's unique coming up in two weeks on March 20th, the state of Apex Insurance Group today. Uh, We're faced with uh, the President of the United States tomorrow uh, covering uh, what they call the uh, State of the Union. I think uh, he was a little bit late as uh, when other presidents have traditionally done the State of the Union. But we're going to cover all the things that Apex Insurance Group does in the State of Apex Insurance Group. This is a webinar that will be on March 20th. So we would like you to uh, join us on that. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for attending today's webcast, and you have yourself a wonderful day.